Hello guys, today we will be making dibenzyl acetone and exploring its properties as a sunscreen. First of all, we will need to weigh out 5 grams of sodium hydroxide. I feel you man. We add about 30 milliliters of water to our sodium hydroxide. Mix until everything dissolves. Next, measure out 19 grams of 96% ethanol and add it to our sodium hydroxide solution. We'll get an approximately 50-50 mix of a basic ethanol solution. In a separate beaker, weigh out 2.9 grams of acetone and then add to it 10.9 grams of benzaldehyde. Add the acetone benzaldehyde solution to our basic ethanol. We rinse the beaker with a bit of water and add that as well. I feel you man. After 15 seconds, you can already see the solution separated into two layers. The top one is bright, almost neon yellow, while the bottom one is white. Stir everything up. After 5 minutes, the color change is even more apparent. Stir it again. After 10 minutes, we got a solid chunk of our product. Mix again and wait 5 more minutes. After 15 minutes, we have a thick slurry of dibenzyl acetone. Filter everything out and wash it with some cold water. We dried our product and recrystallize it from boiling ethanol. During the recrystallization, I got some funky looking patterns. After filtering and drying it again, we got 4.6 grams, which is a 75% yield. For the silver nitrate, we'll have to weigh out 1 gram of silver. The smaller the beads, the better, since they will dissolve faster. We add 6 ml of 58% nitric acid and 5 ml of water. 
We turn up the heat and stir until the silver dissolves. It took about 4 minutes to get the silver into solution. Since we want to make a solid silver compound, the easiest and fastest route is to make a silver halide. For our double displacement reaction we'll be using sodium chloride, so weigh out 2 grams and add 20 milliliters of water. Add the sodium chloride solution to our silver nitrate from the previous step. A white solid of silver chloride should drop out of solution. We wet the filter paper so it sticks to the funnel better. We filter out everything and we're left with a big chunk of silver chloride. We dry our filtrate. We make a solution of dibenzyl acetone by adding it to some 96% ethanol and heating it up. Since dibenzyl acetone can block UV light, We'll set up our demonstration like this. We'll lay out two similar amounts of silver chloride on a piece of printer paper. We'll cover both with the same plastic foil aka saran wrap. The only difference is that we'll cover one piece of plastic foil in dibenzyl acetone solution while the other one stays as it is. For the UV source I'll be using a Rayonet photochemical reactor lamp which shines at 2537 angstrom which is 253 nanometers. As we can see by the chart this is the prime wavelength for dibenzyl acetone absorption. After 45 seconds there seems to be no difference. After a minute and a half we can already see the silver chloride decaying into black or dark grey looking elemental silver. After 3 minutes there is a clear difference between the two samples. The one on the right that was protected by dibenzyl acetone looks basically the same as it did in the beginning, while the one on the left has, raised, has drastically changed in color on the surface. As we can see, the side-by-side -side comparison, dibenzyl acetone did absorb most of the UV light and hence confirmed its UV blocking ability. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.